Hey everybody, my name is Mike, and today I'm going to be reviewing the GNL ASAT Special. I've been playing guitar for about 20 years. I've probably owned or played hundreds of new and vintage instruments. I know guitars. If you're in the market for a GNL ASAT, you're probably a guitar nerd like me. Maybe you want a Telecaster, but you're also looking for something a little different. The ASAT is often referred to as a Telecaster on steroids. I think it's more like an enchanted Telecaster. The clean tones are as clean as you would want from any Tele, but when you crank up the overdrive, it sounds like a Les Paul of P90s. And in just a moment, I'm going to give you a demonstration of the clean and dirty tones of this guitar. If you're watching this video, you probably already have some idea of the basic history of GNL, but for the uninitiated, GNL was founded by George Fullerton and Leo Fender, whose name may sound familiar to you, back in 1979. The ASAT originally launched in 1985 under the name Broadcaster, and much like the Fender Broadcaster, which later became the Telecaster, the Gretsch company reminded Leo Fender that, hey, we own that name, so maybe you want to change it to something else. And so the ASAT was born. ASAT is actually short for anti-satellite missile. A common misconception is that it's a, an abbreviation of after strat, after Telecaster because Leo intended it to be sort of the evolution of his classic design. The ASAT special features these jumbo magnetic field design pickups. And actually, a lot of people mistake these for being P90s. They're very different. They have a narrow bobbin with a shallow yet wide coil, sort of similar to a Jazzmaster pickup. The result is a very punchy low end and a very clear and sparkly high end. The other major difference between these and a Jazzmaster pickup is that a, they're much higher output, mainly because they use ceramic bar magnets and adjustable steel poles. Another innovation that Leo Fender incorporated into these guitars was the saddle lock bridge, which is named because of the set screw on the treble side. Now what that does is it pushes the saddles together so that they resonate like a single block of steel. The bottom of the saddle lock bridge also has a small protrusion that extends into the body to improve the transfer of vibration from the strings into the body. Today I will be demonstrating this guitar running through Amplitube 5 and a Princeton Reverb simulation. I'm going to go through the different pickup configurations, starting with the neck pickup, first clean, and then I'll come back and do the same thing over again with overdrive. <laughs> GNL has a reputation for making guitars that are Fender Custom Shop quality at a price that's more comparable to the Fender American line. They're available with a ton of custom features and color options. My ASAT is Bel Air Green with a semi hollow body, deleted F hole. It's a quarter sawn neck, stainless steel frets, and it's got locking tuners. This is a 2013 model, so it still has the 12 inch radius on the fretboard and a little bit chunkier C-shaped neck. The newer ones are a little bit less chunky, and I believe they have a nine and a half inch radius on the fretboard. If that matters to you, it's something to consider. So there you have it, the GNL ASAT Special. If you found this video helpful or informative, please like the video and subscribe to my channel so you can be sure to see all my future videos. So until next time, thanks for watching and rock on. Mm -hmm.